Hey, welcome on in guys, Tobin here with you, and thanks for checking out the channel. By the time you guys hear this and watch this, we will be a day away from Miami Heat basketball, baby. Opening night at the Kaseya Center, Pat Riley Court will be unveiled. If you guys watched this before uh, 10 a.m. on the radio show on Tuesday, I have two pairs of tickets to opening day that I'll be giving away. So if you guys want to win... Tune on. It got to be live, though. You got to be listening live from 10 to 2. Uh, I'm going to get into some comments here. Jimmy Butler, uh, Jimmy Butler's agent, excuse me, Bernie Lee, gave an interview to the Miami Herald's Anthony Chang and uh, kind of gave a stand on where things are right now or, or did a great job of punting on discussing where things are right now. But um, before that, uh, you know, we talked about the inside the NBA lists, right? That those came out recently. And the thing that I found most interesting was how much respect Tyler Hero got from Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley. But um, on Chuck's list, he had Jimmy Butler at 24 all the way up to Sabonis, but he revealed the top 20 today. And he, Charles Barkley has Bam Adebayo at 12th in the NBA. Some more love from Charles Barkley on the Heat Big Man. This was his list of the top 20. And I got to tell you, it's a pretty solid list by Chuck. I'll tell you one thing that I love about Charles Barkley's list. So he's got Joker at 1, Doncic at 2, Greek Freak at 3, 4 Embiid, 5 Curry, 6... Jalen Brown, seven, Jason Tatum. You may say, Tobin, why are you so thrilled that these Celtics are being ranked in the top 10? I'm glad somebody finally had the balls to put Jalen Brown above Jason Tatum on any list. It just shows he still put him very close. It's not like he put a wide gap, but it's always Jalen Brown's like in the teens. And then they'll put Jason Tatum in six, five, six, four, five, six range. I like this list from uh, from Charles Barkley. I think it's a fair list. 80 is Kevin Durant, 9 SGA, 10, Lebr uh, 10 Anthony Davis, 11 LeBron, and then 12 Bam Adebayo above Devin Booker, Ant-Man, and Larry Markkinen. Pretty good list from Charles Barkley. I did not look over Shaq's. Let me see. Maybe I should look at uh, Shaq's while I'm here because I know Kenny already revealed all his Heat players. What did Shaq do for Bam? Here we go. Um, Let's see. Top 20. He has Jimmy Baller at 21. We knew that. He has Bam at 20. So he has the heat right there. Um, He also, though, did rank Jalen Brown above Jason Tatum. He has the Celtics duo at 10-11. His, uh, his Joker, Greek Freak, Luka, Steph Curry, LeBron at 5. Durant at 6. Joel Embiid at 7. 8 SGA, 9 Ant-Man, then the Jays, Anthony Davis, Devin Booker, Jalen Brunson at 14, Donovan Mitchell, Damian Lillard at 16. I don't know what that one, Shaq. Um, Kyrie Irving, Paul George, Tyrese Halliburton, and Bam at 20. But Chuck, putting Bam at 12. A lot of love from uh, from Charles Barkley on the, uh, the heat on the outside. I cannot wait for the season to get going. All right, so this was the interview that uh, was given. This is uh, Anthony Chang talked to Bernie Lee. And Anthony says in the outset from it, he says, the expectation at this point with Butler and his extension is that Butler will pass on the extension even if the Heat offers it, according to sources, and then opt out of his current contract and become a free agent next summer. Um, his current extension that the Heat could offer would replace his option year. I think you guys all know this at this point. And then it would be a two-year max. It would essentially be a 58.6 bump for that year 37. And he's only allowed to sign a one-year extension because then it would go into the year 38. There's some cockamamie rules as to why he can only sign that. But if he does opt out, he can sign, I believe, a new four-year deal, I believe is the rules. So there are financial gains to it, and there is a... There was a bit of a, uh, it, it kind of feels like, although this has not been said publicly, it felt a little bit like, he's like, oh, 
all right, you don't want to give me the cheap ski extension? I'm either going to opt out and leave for nothing, or you guys are going to bleed when I want that extension. So we'll see. It's It doesn't feel, though, like there's any hostility. This is just the business of it. And that just is what it is right now. You know, ultimately, Jimmy Butler does have an option here. He doesn't have to leave the Miami Heat next year if he doesn't want to. Pat Riley has pointed this out. He doesn't have to leave the Miami Heat if he really enjoys it down here. But it's his prerogative if he wants to. Um, But to get to uh, his agent's comments on this, because Pat Riley told reporters last week he's going to have the ability to opt. uh, To opt, we're going to have the ability to extend trying to get all the thinking out of our heads because living in the present moment and playing basketball, uh, if that's something that's going to drag me down or him down because of that, we're not going to perform at a certain level, but I think that he's embraced exactly where he's at. And I think he understands where we're at. Um, and it, uh, it, it sounds like they're on the same page, at least as from his representation standpoint. I mean, listen, to be fair, Jimmy is then on the record too. Like he has said, Nothing I do now is going to get me any more money. And I think even men awards wise, I think Jimmy knows like, hey, listen, if Jimmy goes and he wins the championship, Pat might still be ruthless and not sign him to extension or he may give him the blank check. I don't know. But uh, this was the uh, this was kind of the money quote from it. You guys can go read the rest of Anthony's article and I'll link it in the description. But he asked Bernie Lee. Uh, he talked about, and there's some interesting stuff there about how, like, you know, Jimmy, everything he was going through last year and the heat support. And I would say the the tone from Jimmy's agent, there's still a, there is a lot of mutual respect between the organization and Jimmy Butler, which is why I don't think he went. I think one, Jimmy is older, mature, different point of his life. And two, I do think he has a lot of respect for the heat organization. Um, And it doesn't sound like his agent wants him to go anywhere, to to be honest. It doesn't sound like his agent wants him to go anywhere either. It sounds like he even mentioned uh, at one point the D-Wade statue thing. He goes like, well, Jimmy doesn't care about that stuff. You know, I kind of want that stuff for him, which I agree. I think Jimmy Butler, I don't think anybody could ever be D-Wade, but I think Jimmy Butler has the opportunity to put himself in the pillar, in the the ilks of D-Wade and Zoe and... Um, and UD and all the greats. I think I think he's already there, but I'm but obviously like those guys are champions, and there's just a there is a different level in the organization. I think that Jimmy's done such a great job. There's like an almost Sixers Allen Iverson type of uh, excellence that he's brought to them in the ability to carry things in, in defiance of the odds. And I just think that this stuff cannot be overlooked just in the history of the franchise. This is a pretty cool era that they've had so far. They just haven't gotten to the ultimate prize yet. And I've always said with Jimmy, my hope is that I hope he gets to be the D Wade of a championship team and not the Alonzo of a championship team. And what I mean by that is I, I Alonzo got very, very close as the anchor, the alpha, the one guy, but he didn't get to get the championship until he was sensational demon defender off the bench um, and got to have the cherry on top of just an illustrious heat career. I, I don't, I don't, I, I want to see Jimmy get this through, but I don't know. I don't know what, it, you know, we'll, we'll have to, to see what this year brings. Stolen. Let me get to the quote. So anyway, Anthony asks, Bernie Lee says Jimmy is still eligible to sign an extension with the Heat until June 30th. Would he consider that extension if the Heat offers it between now and then? Bernie says the gift about sports is to a large extent things are absolutes and there are no need to live in hypotheticals. The absolute is the season at hand and the work that needs to be done. Jimmy went away this summer and prepared himself for the task at hand. I think we all see that speculating on what's next is irrelevant and disrespectful to the moment and this group. One of the major things I've noticed with Jimmy um, that has been at the foundation of his success has been the creation of process and routine. He's locked into that process and routine and ready to attack this season with the group around him. 
Man, that's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Um, first of all, just it's not disrespectful. I mean, like it's 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 one of these things that's like it's hanging over, and everybody just wants to know. I think here's what I would say: Anthony's giving an opportunity for them to go on the record for what's being just reported as sources. Now, I don't know Anthony's sources. I can assume his sources are Jimmy's camp, but I don't know. I wouldn't do that to any reporter um, and just assume, but I can assume that what he heard, what was reported by Shams is coming from Jimmy's camp. And then you have this opportunity to kind of just be on the record there with it. It's like, ah, well, ah, disrespectful to the process, disrespectful to this group. It's like, it is? Just answer the question. Would he sign a one-year extension or not? Would he sign? And if he, and he, and and if it's not, just say we're not ready to talk about that yet. But like to do this whole song and dance of it's disrespectful to the process. It's 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 living in hypotheticals. It's irrelevant. It's not. First of all, it's not irrelevant. And um and it, it it's never irrelevant to know what the what a star's future is for the franchise. That's never irrelevant. And it's not disrespectful to this group. Um, it's a it's a it's a fair question for Anthony to have on the record, but it's fine. Not wanting to answer it is fine. I think the additives of irrelevant and disrespectful are not true. But whatever. Um, I get it. It's an agent, and agents have to do what's best for their clients. And he wants. I think ultimately Jimmy. The Heat, Bernie Lee, everybody around the Spo, the Lecker, they do want to put all the focus on this run, this year, what it can mean. Um, and then the future will take care of itself. Like Jimmy said, nothing that happens now is going to get him paid any more money anyway, even though, as he says, he doesn't care about the money. Um, but... I I think it is. It is anytime a, a star's future is in question with a franchise, it's of course always going to be asked. And okay, it's cleared. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be a thing, um, at least probably from the from the local media standpoint until the end of the year. If he does some national sit down, maybe they'll get the exclusive. Maybe they'll get the answer, maybe he'll give them something different. I don't know. Um, what I will say, and and I think as you guys have watched my videos, you know, the tone, like I think Jimmy has been tremendous. I think I I, I love the fact that Jimmy looks like he's having a lot of fun playing basketball again. He's having fun in the preseason. He's been engaging with his teammates and all of that is positive. All of that is good for this particular season. Um, and he's handled that great. The organization has done a good job handling it. Pat, as nervous as everybody gets for Pat calling on his guys, every one of those guys in the rafters, maybe except for Udonis Haslam, every single one of them he's had a run-in with, and that's just how he operates, dude. He is, he he. That's that that's how he always has. Sometimes it's bit him in the ass. Ultimately, usually everybody is in in good standing with the organization, but. This um this particular issue does feel like it's on ice for uh, for the rest of the year because nobody seems to really want to um venture anywhere off of we're just focused on this year. They're on the task at hand right now. And so all contract talks are pushed aside. Whether you think they're disrespectful or irrelevant is irrelevant because that's where they are right now. So the um the season cannot get here fast enough. I cannot wait for Wednesday night and I'm looking forward to it.